All right, comedies, here's the deal. We all loved Caddyshack, or if you're a little younger, Harold and Kumar. <laughs> that animatronic gopher's disdain for order and penchant for Kenny Loggins basically launched Bill Murray's career, and we'll always have him to thank for that. Or if you're from the H and K go to WC demo, replace gopher with raccoon and Bill Murray with Obama administration associate director for the White House Office of Public Engagement, Cal Penn. But it's over! Comedies, it's just time to stop telling the joke where an animal attacks or molests or otherwise inconveniences your main characters. Not because it's not funny. I mean, here it is, being that. <laughs> but there was a time when we all liked the song Hey Ya a whole lot, played rock band and watched The Simpsons every Sunday. And look what happened there. We need some space, okay? You've oversaturated. There's just nothing that feels relevant anymore about getting suddenly attacked by a forest creature, no matter how you try to dress it up or refresh it. And believe me, it's been tried. And can I ask, why always the sloppiest puppet you could pay arthritis victims to cobble together from discarded tire scraps and weasel hair? God. It's like the Jim Henson workshop threw up. Stan Winston's probably rolling over in his grave, which, when you think about it, is a pretty impressive feat of animatronics in and of itself. A and by the way, this goes double for small animal trap in clothes scenes. We really need to see more footage of an actor with a rat up their pants to get the general vibe of that whole experience. Ah! Have we not mined all the laughs out of that rich, rich concept yet? You may have noticed that last clip of a dude with a rat up his pants was from the silent black and white 1923 movie, Safety Last. When it's literally the next millennium and you're still ripping off Harold Lloyd, it's time to reconsider your course of action. You don't want to end up old and lonely like Zoidberg. So I'm calling it, okay? No more animal attacks and comedies for let's say, 10 years. And I don't want to see anyone trying to find loopholes on this. It's still the same joke if you animate it. Especially if you animate it, make it interminably long, then do it over and over again like you have OCD, to the point where I know as soon as I see that fucking chicken in an episode, I can go ahead and stop watching for 12 minutes. And it's also still the same joke if you use a more exotic animal, or are high and or drunk at the time. <laughs> Ah! What's a monkey? Man, did The Hangover really do it twice? Congrats on sharing a category with the Hannah Montana movie. I bet that stings. Ah! So let us close the book on this bit, encasing it for a few decades in the oldest and strongest tree in Fern Gully, and commemorate that covenant with the ritualistic viewing of the only truly sublime animal attack filmed in the last 20 years. We're gonna seal off this <laughs> Amen. Ah, ah, mother men. Hey, gang! Thanks for watching another one of my little rants here about stuff I hate in movies for no reason. What is your favorite example that I missed out on? Your favorite, funniest animal attack that just makes you giggle and laugh out loud and think I'm a big dumb idiot for just posting that? Because I'm a huge hypocrite and nothing means anything and I don't believe in anything. So, I don't mean anything that I just said, or this that I'm saying now. Figure that out, Einstein!